Beans are nutritious and healthy, but eating them with certain foods can actually be harmful. Here are 10 foods you should never eat with beans. 1. Meat. Eating beans and meat together is a common combination, but it's actually not a good idea. The phytic acid in beans interferes with the absorption of iron in meat. Also, the protein in beans and the protein in meat can compete with each other and interfere with digestion. This can cause problems such as bloating, gas, and indigestion. 2. Dairy products. Consuming beans and dairy products such as milk or cheese together can decrease calcium absorption. This is because the phytic acid in beans binds with calcium to form an insoluble compound. This can have a negative impact on bone health, especially for growing children and postmenopausal women. 3. Alcohol. Drinking beans and alcohol together can inhibit the action of alcohol decomposing enzymes. This can cause you to get drunk more easily and have a worse hangover than usual. Also, the absorption of nutrients from beans can be hindered, so you may not be able to fully benefit from the health benefits of beans. 4. Foods high in sugar. Eating beans and sweet foods together can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar. Beans are complex carbohydrates that are digested slowly, but sugar is absorbed quickly. When these two are consumed together, insulin secretion increases excessively, which can increase the risk of diabetes. 5. Coffee. Eating beans and coffee together can hinder the absorption of nutrients from beans. The caffeine contained in coffee inhibits the absorption of minerals such as iron and zinc. People who are concerned about iron deficiency should be especially careful. 6. Tomatoes. Eating beans and tomatoes together can impair digestion. The acidic components of tomatoes and the protein in beans can inhibit the action of digestive enzymes, which can cause indigestion, bloating, and abdominal pain. 7. Spinach. Eating spinach and beans together can significantly reduce iron absorption. Both foods contain phytic acid, so eating them together further hinders the absorption of iron in the body. People who are concerned about iron deficiency, anemia should avoid this combination. 8. Fish. Eating beans and fish together can cause problems due to excessive protein intake. Both foods are high in protein, so eating them together can put a strain on the kidneys. Also, the phytic acid in beans can interfere with the absorption of omega-3 in fish, so it is better to eat them separately. 9. Flour foods. Eating foods made from beans and flour together can impair digestion. Both foods take a long time to digest, so eating them together can put a strain on the stomach. People with weak digestive systems should be especially careful. 10. Onions. Lastly, you should also avoid eating beans and onions together. The sulfur compounds in onions and the proteins in beans can interfere with digestion and produce a lot of gas. This can cause abdominal bloating and discomfort. But that's not the end of it. More exciting content is about to unfold. Do you know how dangerous these food combinations are? It's not just about indigestion or reduced nutrient absorption. If you continue to consume these combinations, you may suffer from serious health problems. For example, if you frequently eat beans and meat together, you may suffer from chronic anemia due to iron deficiency in the body. Not only will you feel tired and dizzy, but in severe cases, your immune system will weaken, increasing your risk of frequent colds or serious illnesses. What about the combination of beans and dairy products? If calcium absorption is continuously hindered, it can cause serious problems with bone health. The risk of osteoporosis increases significantly, and in severe cases, bones can easily break even with a slight impact. This risk increases especially as you age. The combination of beans and alcohol is even more dangerous. If the action of alcohol decomposing enzymes is suppressed, it can put a serious burden on the liver. If you continue to enjoy this combination, you may be at a higher risk of developing serious liver diseases such as alcoholic hepatitis or cirrhosis. Eating foods high in sugar and beans together is also very dangerous. Blood sugar levels can rise and fall rapidly, causing insulin resistance, which can lead to type 2 diabetes. 
Diabetes is a scary disease that comes with many other complications. The combination of coffee and beans can also cause serious problems. In the long term, due to the continuous decrease in nutrient absorption, you can suffer from various mineral deficiencies. This can manifest as various symptoms such as fatigue, decreased immunity, and skin problems. Eating tomatoes and beans together can lead to chronic digestive problems. Increased gastric acid secretion can cause gastritis or even stomach ulcers. The combination of spinach and beans can cause serious iron deficiency. Chronic anemia can make you feel so tired that you can't do your daily life. And your immunity can be weakened, making you susceptible to various diseases. Eating fish and beans together can cause kidney problems due to excessive protein. Excessive burden on the kidneys can lead to chronic renal failure. And in severe cases, dialysis may be required. The combination of flour foods and beans can cause chronic digestive problems. If this continues for a long time, there is a risk of developing irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease. Finally, the combination of onions and beans can cause chronic abdominal bloating and pain due to severe gas production. This can cause great disruption to your daily life, and in severe cases, it can even lead to depression. Such wrong food combinations can lead to serious health problems beyond simple discomfort. Isn't it scary that the food we eat every day can be toxic? But don't worry, if you avoid these dangerous combinations, soybeans are still an excellent health food. Soybeans are rich in protein and dietary fiber, and contain various vitamins and minerals, making them very beneficial to your health. However, it is recommended to eat them separately from the foods mentioned above. For example, it is recommended to eat other foods. One to two hours after eating soybeans. Also, adding a little vinegar or lemon juice. When cooking soybeans can reduce the effect of phytic acid. It is also helpful to soak the soybeans in water before cooking. Healthy eating habits can greatly improve our quality of life. Make the most of the nutrients in soybeans with the right food combination. We support your healthy life. Was this information helpful to you? If you would like to get more health information and tips on proper eating habits, please subscribe, like, and set up notifications. Your interest is a great help to us. We'll come back with more useful and interesting health information next time. Have a healthy day!